What is up everybody? Uh, I'm out here in a beautiful park in Los Angeles uh, doing some lessons and I wanna talk about, I know this is gonna sound strange, but sentence structure, telling a story with your guitar, with your improvisation. Uh, now I have a video that you can check out before. It's the pentatonic. So if we just take this A pentatonic, right? A minor pentatonic. Um, and, and we look at those root notes. Those are like our, our definitive or our final, um, our final notes, like our final statement, right? And what we want to do is build into that. And how we do that is we just end a phrase on the notes that are closest to the root, root notes. So we think of it almost like close, but not quite there yet, okay? So if I have my root note, it's my root note, right? The note right next to it, that eight on the top string. Then the next two notes are passive, you know, a little bit more neutral, but this note is a tension note because it's right next to that root, and so is the note right after it. Now, the same two more neutral notes, and then the note right before the root note and the note right after the root note. And I have a little chart and a whole lesson about that if you guys want to check that out. Um, so what we have is ending on one of those tension notes. And then ending on a root note. Now if we end on that tension note, we can hear that right against that root note. We're not quite finished yet. You know, there's something that we need, and what we need is that sort of finale. Um, <clears throat> what I want to get into as far as like uh, sentence structure is, there's a little bit more to this. Uh, and the reason is if we're just constantly going call, response, call, response, I mean, that's great, uh, especially because that, that root note, uh, what, what tends to happen with, with the root note is we sort of Right? Everything sort of ends on the root note at first. The reason is we can really hear that against you know, the backing track or whatever it is that we're playing with. Um, and then the tension notes and the neutral notes sort of are all in one uh, category. We haven't really developed the ear to say like, ooh, that tension note, that's got some tension to it. Uh, the neutral notes, not so much. So they all end up there. You know, and we need to sort of guide our ear into hearing that like, you know. has some tension to it, has some release to it. Um, what we can do now is taking the neutral notes and say we can make definitive statements, right? We can um, expand on the question or expand on the answer. Um, and not everything has to just be question and answer. So hear it out, you know? Um, if, you can, if you can start to hear like, that's a question. All right, that's my answer. If we're just going back and forth, that's gonna start getting tired. The same way always landing on the root note is gonna get tired or always landing on a tension note is gonna get tired because there's not gonna be any release. You're just constantly building tension. So what we got now is we can look at it and say, well, what if, what if I end on a tension and then end on a neutral note? It's, it's not resolved yet. Right, we, we, we've sort of taken that question, we, we've moved it down, right, we, we've watered it down just like a little bit because maybe we don't want that much tension. You know, it's like asking a question and then sort of ask or, or, or making a follow-up statement before, before we, we get the answer, you know what I mean? So it's almost like the question. And then, right, question. Uh, a little bit more information about the question and then and then and then the answer um, if we are constantly building tension uh, and no release what, what else can be can be really cool and can work um, like I said if you're constantly building tension it's going to start uh, sorry it's just very nice people here in Los Angeles but uh, um, a little uh, I get bothered sometimes if I'm doing this out in public um, so if you're asking those questions over and over just giving the tension um, it's gonna sound uh, too tense, right? What is a really cool building technique to eventually have like, like a, a sort of like a massive release is that
right? It doesn't feel final until we get to that mm. final statement, but it's still not as tense as if I'm just doing question, question, question. It's like quen question, statement, question, right? That second leg. I ended up, well, I ended on that. Right, one of my uh, one of my more neutral notes. So I want you to mess around with that, um, and and if you're thinking of it in that way, you can think of it as uh, as the way that you're playing it. Right, if you're going to make a quick statement, then a question. Right, you can soften up the answer a little bit. The, um, there's there's just so many. Things, so many dimensions, but um, uh, I'm, I was just I'm reading a book <laughs> right now, um, and it, uh, it was going into uh, for for a class, um, and it was going into a uh, varied sentence structure, um, you know, in in our lyric writing, and I thought like, oh man, that's sort of what I teach here. So uh, I wanted to put that in a in a in a nice lesson, and uh, while I'm sitting out here in the sun, uh, which is actually kind of burning my eyes. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go, guys. Thank you. <laughs>